Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we will be learning the similar things what we have done so far with the uh, invoke command and the uh, PS session. Similar things we would be doing, but a uh, little uh, a bit advanced with uh, uh, within a script uh, where we would like to write. So let's ha uh, let's open the ISC. Uh, in this ISC, uh, you can check out here that the this blank script now for now but uh, what we can do is we wanted to get the computers the computers names we would like to input into a text file so what I've done is I have actually created a text file let me show you the text file by opening notepad uh, like it it's in the root of the C drive let me open that file so here under the root of my C drive which is here under C column I have a computers so this is where I have uh, placed my computer names one by one. Now, uh, now I would like to save uh, or I would like to get the computers automatically loaded in my PowerShell commands. To do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a variable again called a computer, uh, like computers, and then I'm going to e setting it to equal and to I want the file uh, should be read or should be loaded to the computer's variable. So to do that, I have to get the content from the uh, path. So the path would be in this case, it would be C colon uh, computers uh, is the path. So which we have given here. So I need to give has in a double quotes so that it knows that the uh, proper uh, path. Now, uh, what I have to do is I wanted this the files whatever it is there inside this as a line by line I need to read as a line by line so for that for that I need to uh, use as each uh, for each of uh, line uh, that's each uh, each of my line for example I need to uh, define any of the value like here uh, the, the line is the one which I can say uh, in the variable called computers so here the value should be a uh, reading now so wh what would happen is here everything is a uh, reading from this text file one by one line by line now here my uh, other script which is coming out in this block uh, for example I want to I want to do some I want to invoke some kind of uh, commands so let's type uh, invoke command specific so uh, invoke sorry yeah invoke uh, it's not the assured <laughs> so invoke command have uh, with the computer name so in this case the computer name is again uh, which is coming from the line uh, because uh, line by line what we wanted to read and from the script block uh, either you create uh, either you get it give it or not it doesn't matter script block but you can you know put any kind of command here like to put here as the get service specific service uh, by typing get hyphen service with the bit specific so if I start executing this it is actually uh, pulling out the values from these two of the computers that's good so the problem is as I said in the uh, previous lectures uh, we, we talked about the invoke command the uh, drawback of the invoke command where once the session is closed it's gonna close that so how would I maintain a persistent connection so for that uh, as you know already uh, we need to use PS session so ultimately we have to depend on the PS session so for that uh, we're gonna actually do a little bit of modifying this existing script or this script as you know uh, for writing of any of the uh, uh, session like you know PS session uh, we we just go with the new PS session and the computer name uh, that's what uh, we tried so what what we're gonna do is now I'm gonna define this into a different variable that's how we tried in the previous uh, uh, previous uh, lectures also so similar thing we can try like uh, maybe here a uh, session equivalent so this should be put it into a uh, variable so the new session uh, is coming here as the computer so instead of the here the value of the computer I would actually put it here computers so that it's actually um, gonna execute here so what are the computers uh, are coming up is the computers are coming from this content where it has these value and uh, later point the value whatever we are trying to do on the computers we are going to line by line doing this session so now this looks good uh, we can start the session by running this script so it should be running this 
So since I've not saved, it is showing all this information and uh, it has started. So just to you know, find out whether uh, really are there any sessions are still maintained or not. Uh, as I said, you know, get session or, or the environment uh, or the variable what we have used. So in this case, this is already maintaining still available. So this is how you would be you know, modifying a little bit uh, further to um, advance your scripting skills and get it benefited out of it. I hope this is useful for you. Thank you for watching this.